Hello and welcome to week three, ENT 620. Purpose of this video is to give you some insight on the choosing and protecting of a business name. Choosing a business name is something you need to take very seriously because if you're going to invest your time, your money, your future, or your assets, let's say you're uh, not an entrepreneur, but you are an investor, you want to make sure that the intellectual property associated with a venture name is a lockdown. How do we do that? You would think that most entrepreneurs would actually do a simple Google or other search engine drive search, but they don't. The vast majority of entrepreneurs that I run into pick a name, they like the name, and they don't even search it online. So the first thing you do is you go to Google or some other search engine, type in your chosen business name, and see if any direct conflicts pop up. It's not a definitive result, meaning if another business shows up with the same name or similar name, that doesn't mean you can't use it, but you at least want to, you know, if there are 20 different businesses throughout the United States with the same business name, then you need to start re-examining your choice of business name. So I would suggest you get some type of spreadsheet or something and you, you know, look at their search results, see if there's any direct conflicts, if there are make a note of those. Once you do a simple online search, you can now search at the state government level. Every state has a department that governs corporate affairs. And so you want to simply Google if you're in whatever state, doesn't matter, regulatory body that governs corporations or business entities, it will pop up. In the state of Michigan, that entity is called LARA which is the Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs. And when I go to LARA, I can actually search for a business entity. And then what I do is I simply put in Acme and hit search, and it will tell me if any business in the state of Michigan has been organized using the name Acme. This is very valuable. It's free. Be careful when you're searching for information like this. Typically, the first or second result is a sponsored ad, and you're paying a fee to search a public database which you can access freely. So always scroll past those sponsored ads and get to the free government resource. They are there in every single state. You just have to look around a little bit. If your business name pops up here, that might be a dead end because you cannot form. So if there is already an Acme in the state of Michigan, I cannot form another Acme, at least identically. I might be able to change that name or modify it, you know, add something before, something after. So add more words to the name, but uh, a good place to search. What if you've done those two and you think your name is pretty solid and so you're going to move forward the next step is also free again you can pay for it but this is a free government resource you go to the US PTO which is the United States Patent and Trademark Office you can Google search TESS trademark search T-E-S-S -S. and there's a link there in the PDF uh, version of this video, which is in our weekly folder, you can actually um, click directly on that link. So what you're going to do is when you click that link, test will show up, show up. And you're going to click right here, basic word search. Click that, type in the name that you want, hit search and it will tell you if anyone has registered a trademark using that name. Again, because it showed, let's say you searched Acme and one popped up, still not dead. I mean, you still might have a chance to trademark that and move forward, but if I find six different variations of Acme Maybe I need to start looking at something that's a little bit more creative, innovative, original. 
So again, before you send out your first product and put your name out there, make sure that you do a TESS trademark electronic search system. It's free, it's federal, so it's the same in every state. You're going to one website and you, know, you can pay an attorney, a, a intellectual property attorney, a significant fee to do this, or you can simply spend a, a few minutes on the website and find the information yourself. Let's talk for just a few minutes about what a registered trademark is. So we just left the trademark search engine. So this is a registered trademark, the R in the circle. And what does that mean? That means that you have registered your mark with the United States federal government, okay? A trademark protects any word, phrase, symbol, design, or combination that identifies your goods or services. The R in the circle is for goods, but let's say my company provides a service. It's actually an SM mark, okay? What a trademark really does, it's that thing that differentiates and identifies your business from others, okay? What is the process of obtaining a registered trademark? You go to the USPTO website and there is a summary there of the various steps involved. Do you need an attorney to file a trademark? Absolutely not. I believe that any of you are capable of doing this. Might be helpful, but you can certainly do this on your own. The average cost is between $250 and $600. Why is there a range? When you protect a name via trademark, you actually tell the USPTO in what market you want to use this name. So if I'm going to be designing clothing and I have a brand name for my clothing line, I'll protect that name within the context or area of clothing, attire, etc. And that's one fee. I'm not going to protect it in food, for example. Okay. That's where it gets to be a little bit complicated because you can make a claim in different market areas. If you want to know more about that, I'd be happy to, to help you. But um, it's a little bit too much information for purposes of this class. How long does it take to get a trademark? 12 to 18 months. How long does the trademark last? 10 years with unlimited renewal. And what that means is initially your trademark is 10 years. And before the end of that 10 years, you elect to renew it for a small fee. If you miss the 10 year, you're out of luck. You're going to have to start all over. And that sets you up for um, someone to kind of sneak in there and steal your trademark. When you do a, a trademark search, you'll see, let's say I type in Acme. Acme appears, but then I read over to the right, it says abandoned. That means it was not renewed for whatever reason. Now, let's say you are just starting a, a new business and you don't have money or you don't have the 12 to 18 months to wait. You want to go to market tomorrow. Good news, you can use the symbol TM. That is a common law trademark claim. It costs nothing. You can use it immediately and it can be used indefinitely. Is it legitimate? Here's an example. Early when Starbucks came out with their logo design, you know, they didn't want to wait 12 to 18 months. So while their application was being processed with the USPTO for the registered trademark, they attached the TM, which any of you can do. So if you're going to, if you have a website and you've got a brand out there, you can attach TM to it. You don't need anyone's permission. And let me explain why this makes sense. Our current USPTO system, United States Patent and Trademark Office, is relatively new in the context of law. And so intellectual property law, trademark law, predates the creation of the United States Patent and Trademark Office. So you can claim a trademark. The best thing to do is to claim the trademark with a TM, 
okay? Until such time as you have the money and the time to fully register it. A registered trademark is stronger because it is searchable. And so everyone's put on notice that you've got it. If you don't register it, you might have to prove that you were the first party to use a name, for example. So it is limited protection. It's a great way to start, but it is not the definitive answer. Quick summary in terms of choosing and protecting the business name. Search. Please search. I've seen entrepreneurs launch their business and then have to completely change their name, their branding, and everything at great expense and time because there's somebody else there in a similar business with a similar name or identical name. And then use the uh, trademark, in t the TM, common law trademark, until such time that you can afford, obtain the registered R. Thank you very much.